Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will go through a new example case of use for render sets. We will configure the render output first, and then we will enable render sets and select PSD for the output format. Next we will pick our backdrop object, which happens to be a floor in this case. The group called Mini is a container for the car. Everything inside uses ID 1. In the render panel we use all to render all the IDs. The car features a thin wall glass for the windows, and for this to work well in compositing we must enable the capture refractions checkbox in the AOVs tab. We may display the alpha AOV to see what this option does. Now let's enable the denoiser if we want, and fire up our render with the draft render button, which as you know is a draft quality version of final render for quick previews. We will see how the car is rendered in one layer and then the floor comes out detached in another layer. Let's open the output file in Photoshop. There we will find groups with layers for floor shadows and reflections conveniently arranged. We may swap the background to witness the power of render sets in action. Let's now render the car body alone as if we only wanted to change the surface finish. Let's change the material color in the object called car paint. As the object is nested inside a group, we must disable the inherit from parent option so it won't pick its compositing settings from the parent group. Let's change the render set ID of the object and add it to the render sets list. Let's also disable the backdrop options because we won't need those, and change the output format to PNG. The render will contain the car body only now. We can drop the output PNG over the original file in Photoshop and see how the new car body fits perfectly. A different workflow we may use is to do per material render sets to for example separate different pieces of an object, like the car's nose in this example. The car paint and the classic mini black stripes happen to use different materials. We must set a different ID to each of these two terminal materials that form the host blend material. In the render panel let's switch over to material mode and type in the IDs we just configured. We will use PSD this time since we will produce two separate layers. Let's run a draft render. Back in Photoshop we will see how the new layers dock in perfectly over the original image. This way we may do different post-production adjustments on each material. We will explore more examples in upcoming videos. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.